Hey guys, it's Olivier. In this video, I wanted to show you some cool Bitly tips that you can use immediately in your Twitter usage. Uh, as we all know, you can only write 140 characters at a time on Twitter. So it's good to have a URL shortener like Bitly, Clicks, or TinyURL, or other services, right? But I'm gonna show you some cool tricks with Bitly. Now, if you look at this person right here, he wrote a Bitly link right he's sending us to a bitly link what we can do is if we want to see his analytics you can go ahead on your browser write his um link down paste it and then hit the plus sign when you put the plus sign at the end of a bitly link what it does is it gives you the actual statistics on that bitly link and the thing is you can look at the the amount of clicks for the past week past month total let's look at total so you can have a, a total view of on this particular day, August 3rd, he had 112 clicks. That day, 64, blah, 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 as you see. <laughs> and if you look at the bottom, these are the conversations that it was taken from, right? Here, Saddle's Worth News wrote whatever about his link or whatever. Where if it's not his link, it's somebody else's, whatever, it just gives you the statistics. You can look at the referrers. It tells you that 12 clicks are from an email client, 5 are from Twitter registered applications uh, three right now you can also look at the locations of the people who click eight clickers were from the United Kingdom five were from the United States three other two Serbia other 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 Germany Australia etc right now uh, if you've never been to the bitly main platform home screen what it looks like is like this right right here all you have to do is write a website and it will give you a shortened URL for it so for example let's oh, sorry about that go to my blog right and then all I have to do is hit enter boom and it gives me a short URL now this shortened URL is a URL that anybody can use to go straight to my blog, but let's say I've shortened it and it's definitely uh, better to use on Twitter because it takes less space. Let's say I don't like this particular one and I want to customize it. Easy. Just click the customize button right here and um, holy, holy blog 2. I already have an holy blog, so let's do holy blog 2, right? All you have to do is save and voila. So now if you go to HTTP um, bit.ly slash only blog 2, it's going to take you straight to my blog, right? And you can check the statistics by going to the manage tab over here in the top tabs. And um, since I just created it, obviously nobody clicked on it, right? Now, another cool thing that I wanted to show you is let's say I'm browsing the net and I happen to have read this article earlier on Mashable and I like the article and I want to share it with the people who follow me. What I can do is just click right here on my bit.ly it's on my address bar all I have to do is click right here and as you can see I don't even have to go to the bit.ly platform everything is right here for me it tells me this is the link I can I can even share it on Twitter immediately by clicking the share button right here. I don't even have to go to Twitter. I don't have to go to bit.ly. Um, HTTP .bitly. Um, it, it makes it so much easier. I can customize it here and it tells me the amount of clicks and everything from here. So this is a great tool to use. What you, If you want to get that particular tool, all you have to do is go to your main platform. And as you can see on the right side, there's a bit.ly sidebar. All you have to do is click on it and drag it to the to your um, toolbar and you'll have the same feature as I just showed you right there. So I showed you a whole lot of cool tips for bit.ly and if you like this tip, just give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my page and follow me on Twitter at Olivier Vasquez. Thank you.